As there seems to be statues have become an invitation to leftists to now find some fault in the subject. You know, they're racist or they this or they that. They were they kicked their cat, I don't know. Tear down the statue, throw it into the sea. But now there's going to be a study into what statue to put up for Queen Elizabeth II in time for her 100th birthday in uh, 2026. Is this a good idea or an invitation to trouble? I mean, it is a good idea. Obviously, whenever you have some sort of, uh, you know, emblematic symbol of an, of an individual in this country, you have mobs of people that think they know better than everyone else and then they have the higher sort of more ground to tear down statues. It's the same thing that happened with Margaret Thatcher's statue in Grantham. When I went to visit it, it was literally boarded up. You could only see from the neck up, which is really quite oh. unfortunate considering the fact that she was, you know, Britain's first female prime minister and she did many good things for this country. Um, obviously, I think it might be slightly different for the Queen because she is more respected. She does have a positive, uh, more positive reputation, not just in Britain, but across the world. So you, you would hope that these people that would feel the need to tear down her statue would actually have a bit more respect. But I'm, I'm not counting on it. Uh, the reality is this is, again, something that falls on the police for there to be bobbies on the beat, uh, people actually around surveilling uh, wherever this uh, memorial statue is going to be to make sure that, you know, it, it, the public still gets to appreciate it without having to deal with these angry um, mobs of, of individuals that feel like they're, they're so sanctimonious and righteous that they can tear down statues. Well, I tell you what, I mean, if, it, if there's even protests and, def, uh, you know, uh, desecration of the statue of Winston Churchill that you've got there, I mean, for heaven's sake, uh, why would uh, Queen Elizabeth be spared? I mean, I don't get it. What is wrong with people there? I mean, it's, it's quite unfortunate. I mean, people... People use statues of, of famous people as a cause célèbre because they use it to bring up, you know, past atrocities and, and, and you know, things that happened in the past. But the reality is they tend to take an ahistorical view of actually how things happened. And the reality is you can, you can celebrate someone's achievements while also recognising the things that happened in the past that weren't so great. You know, the two are not mutually exclusive. But unfortunately, mm. uh, tearing down statues has become sort of fun playtime for the mentally unwell.